This troper had this through high school, and was regarded, hopefully jokingly, as the most likely one to be a serial killer. He hasn't killed anyone. Yet. However, I guess I'm kind of a subversion, since randomly I start being more outgoing. Plus there are people I talk to often at school, just not a lot of them. One of these random instances involved me eventually saying, No, begging sounds nothing like barfing. Begging is like, uh, uh, and barfing is like, <laughs> This pub has a thing for thinking by the girls, being one himself. Granted, I got better, but I can still be a bit timid at times. I also act as an unpaid slash unlicensed therapist for my fellow drinking violets. If you want someone to talk to, please hit me up on Facebook. Um, um, this might be me, but I don't really want to bother any of you, so I won't go into much detail about it. Blushes, averts eyes shyly. I don't want anyone to look at me unless their gaze is their content to egotistical scrutiny. I just want to be loved by someone not related to me. But I can't just approach a girl and say something that isn't totally mundane. I'm just so overboard I'm somehow able to blurt it out without my usual introspection. Hell, even after spending a year reinforcing my natural reactions instead of stoicism, I'm still awkward and I don't know what to say. I talk, I need this, this troper switches between this and a very vocal jerk ass around his friends. He still gets embarrassed over things that happened years ago and can barely talk to his e girlfriend when they talk on the phone. This troper is so annoyingly shy. The best example is a school project I did. I didn't have any friends, so I was paired up with this lazy girl who didn't do any work. I stayed up past midnight for about a week and, because I'm also a bit of a doormat, she wanted to read my work and pass it off as her own. When we finally presented, she ended up reading it anyway because I knew if I said a single word I'd throw up. This trooper is a misanthropist, applying Sturgeon's law to humanity. He doesn't seek out social interaction with any but those who somehow left a strong impression on him. Among situations where he knows no one, he is reserved and defensive if he has to talk, subverted in that he has plenty to say to good friends. This trope is a shrinking violet, and it's been very obvious since entering college. I knew I had issues with meeting people, though that was more to do with being intimidating than shyness. I broke down crying three times during introductions, and twice after trying to pipe up in class. It hasn't gone any better from the rest of the semester, and going into this semester to the point where I can't even interact with my friends without having some sort of breakdown. You know, I'm just looking back on this, wondering if it's too long, it's so centered. TV tropes, though, makes me feel very comfortable. Looking at the trope tail sections. I get the feeling that I'm not alone in the various mental issues I might or might not have. That probably didn't make much sense. Whatever. I love you guys. Seriously, I also girls, although I'm a bit nervous about declaring any non-neutral feelings about them. Thanks, tropers. <laughs>